Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Speaking with Trina Robinson, she will voice her worries about anything that might be utilized against Ava Jerome in the custody dispute involving Avery Corinthos. But Ava is about to have a fortunate break, so things in the legal department might be improving for her. We'll see if it calls for hiring a different attorney, or if Robert Scorpio decides to drop any outstanding charges against Christina Corinthos Davis. Speaking of Christina, Molly Lansing Davis believes Alexis Davis is stepping in for her since she can't get her sister to admit that she killed Agent John, Jagger Cates. Molly will feel as though her mother has just given her all the information she requires, given Alexis' queries and worries around Christina in this Wednesday's GA show. Of course, Sonny Corinthos is the one who has to destroy John for good, but he will continue to hide as he works his way out of this precarious predicament. Molly, on the other hand, will consider Rick's motivations for reporting Alexis for the gun disposal. Molly might approach Rick and accuse him of attempting to get revenge on Alexis due to past grudges. Willow Corinthos at Guillet will nuzzle Elizabeth Baldwin into sharing more. Elizabeth can acknowledge that she is concerned about the potential that Lucky Spencer won't return when Willow inquires about her fear. Elizabeth will always have a soft spot for Lucky, and Lulu Spencer is in danger because Lucky might be her best shot at finding a liver donor match. In addition, Liz would detest having to inform Aidan Weber about his father's unfortunate destiny. Willow can encourage Elizabeth and predict that Lucky would manage to get out of the precarious situation he's found himself in. When Anna Devan asks Isaiah Gannon what he's done that might make someone want to kill him, she'll come across as suspicious. Isaiah is going to reveal some fresh information, which will provide Jordan Ashford and Anna with updates on certain aspects of the entire situation surrounding Lucky. As they sip beverages together in Wednesday's preview video, it appears like Carly Spencer and Jack Brennan may have cause for celebration. Carly should be grateful to Brennan for providing her with the precise location of Lucky at this time. More flirting is in store as Brennan admits he ain't seen nothing yet and claims he believes Carly's opinion on things. According to General Hospital spoilers, Lucky's rescue should be approaching just in time, so keep an eye out. To begin with, things won't go as planned when Alexis Davis tries to keep Christina Corinthos Davis out of trouble. Will Molly Lansing Davis cause further trouble in her attempt to save Alexis from going to jail? In any case, there will be additional complexities to the tale surrounding the murder of Agent John, Jagger Cates. Perinthos Sonny as a result, Carly Spencer and Jason Morgan will encounter unexpected challenges along the road. Through their cooperation, Carly and Jack Brennan might become closer, but in the future, Carly's fictitious romance with Sonny might become true. The writers of Guillet seem to have been laying the groundwork for a genuine reunion between Sonny and Carly at some point. While you wait, Jason appears ready to take on some dangerous tasks for Brennan. We'll provide you with further details about the nature of his missions. As the romance between Cody Bell and Sasha Gilmore Corbin heats up, Tracy Quartermain will feel conflicted about it. Lucky Spencer, in the meantime, is likely to dream intensely about Elizabeth Baldwin and imagine that they are reuniting, particularly if he returns to PC and starts speaking with her once more. Eventually, Lucky will get back in touch with Aidan Weber, but since he hasn't seen his son for the majority of his life, things may not go smoothly. Additionally, Drew Quartermain will feel as though he needs an escape from his affections for Willow Corinthos. For this reason, Drew will present Nina Reeves with a suggestion so that she can think it over. Nina will agree to Drew's proposal because she loves spending time with him and wants to keep him away from Willow as much as possible. This idea might result in Drew and Nina getting back into bed together, but eventually, memories of Willow will resurface. They will pay Lulu Spencer a combined visit beside the bedside after visiting Dante and Rocco Falconeri. With her fall debut, 
It is probable that Rocco's impending plea will help spark a Lulu recast. Jordan Ashford and Isaiah Gannon will get to know each other better in the interim, so will Jordan Ashford eventually find the love interest that Since the fans Jordan have saved Isaiah's for. life. We've already seen the first signs of a romantic relationship developing on TV. Sparks might fly soon enough since Isaiah will want to get to know her and thank Jordan for that. At last, the show will begin preparing the audience for Sam McCall's impending exit, which, if insider reports are true, should result in a catastrophic conclusion. According to General Hospital spoilers, after this unforgettable autumn, Port Charles will never be the same. Stay tuned for updates on all the amazing news that lies ahead. Wednesday, September 11 General Hospital spoilers and updates hint at key concerns, worries from a mother, and suspicions inside the family. Elizabeth Baldwin is concerned, Molly Lansing Davis is suspicious, and Anna Devon seeks answers to important issues. With an intriguing suggestion, Nina Reeves approaches her elusive ex-husband Rick Lansing, letting him know that she might be back with something a little stronger. With a bewildered yet curious expression on his face, Rick raises an eyebrow at her and wonders what she could be discussing. It seems unlikely that she is talking about alcoholic beverages. If she hasn't already learned her lesson about not trusting Rick, she never will. Maybe she knows something that could give Rick more convincing evidence in a particular case he's working on. He is currently concentrating on Heather Weber's case, although he also extended an offer to assist Ava Jerome, who turned it down. Ava is currently in her art gallery with Trina Robinson, a co-worker and friend. Trina tells Ava that there's something that could be used against her in her custody fight, and she almost squirms. Despite Sonny Corinthos being on the proper dosage of medication, Ava is attempting to obtain exclusive custody of Avery Jerome Corinthos since she does not feel comfortable in his presence. Even though for the time being everything is clear, Sonny still has opponents. With her daughter being the only one still alive, Ava would prefer not to take any chances. Rick informed the police that Alexis Davis had disposed of a gun, which is why Molly and Alexis Davis are in the Port Charles Police Department's interview room. Alexis tossed the gun into the river beneath Robin's Bridge, despite the fact that it wasn't the same one that killed John Jagger Cates. Although Christina Corinthos Davis is being questioned about it herself, she was concerned that it might link her to the crime. Molly is claiming that Alexis covered up Christina's murder of Cates. Molly had previously discussed this with T.J. Ashford. She yells, the fact that you just asked me, that tells me everything, as she lashes out at their mother. Elizabeth and Willow Corinthos at Gieth are discussing Lucky Spencer, the father of Willow's son Aidan Weber. Elizabeth is concerned after speaking with Isaiah Gannon regarding Lucky and the complex where Sidwell is keeping him, as Isaiah informed her of the danger there. He had been breathing when he'd last seen him, but after helping him get away, he had no means of knowing if he was still alive or not. Willow asks Elizabeth directly if she's concerned that Lucky might not return. In the meantime, Anna is interrogating Isaiah in his hospital room and seeking clarification on important matters. She asks him what he has done that would make someone want to kill him, but her tone is a touch too accusing. In actuality, practicing medicine for mercenary organizations isn't the safest option. He also stated that Sidwell had some hypochondria, however, it's unclear why he would send a hit guy. These are the important queries that Anna needs to get addressed. Jack Brennan informs Carly Spencer in the WSB satellite office about what he believes to be new information regarding Lucky's whereabouts and health. He informed her that before Laura Collins and Kevin Collins departed for Africa, he had previously assisted Laura Collins with some tracking. Brennan sounds as though he provides something that ought to be kept private when he tells Carly that he believes in her judgment. Carly tells him he hasn't seen anything yet and simply smiles. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.